High Guardian Spice doesn't exist yet. Can we be clear about that? It doesn't, it's not, it doesn't exist yet. Once it comes out, by all means, you can make your YouTube hot take videos about how the show is terrible. You can make your hot take videos about, oh, it's blah, blah, propaganda, something, something, SJW, whatever the fuck you want to do. You can be angry on Twitter. You can be an asshole to the creators for no goddamn reason. In fact, no, actually, you can't do that. Stop doing that. What the fuck are you, five years old? This videos for all you stupid fucking trolls and haters online. You don't fucking know anything about this show, show idiots. Yeah, there's like five pieces of concept art and three character designs that's literally all we fucking know about the show and yet i guess somehow people's testicles started shrinking up because oh there's a lady with pink hair on the team and a woman with big glasses oh no the the, the well guess what they rule harder than you dipshits quite frankly quite frankly i just think you're jealous ass haters you know what it's class and class is for men and swag is for boys but you wouldn't know shit about that fucking haters the feminist propaganda is coming for us Meh, save us crunchyroll has betrayed our weakness <laughs> let's go outside go outside go outside and don't come back in until you're like more than 12 years old go outside you can't figure it out you sit there online on your fucking websites and you stay bullshit about it I'd implore you to do a little bit of thinking, if that's even possible for you, to think before you do fucking hating on- High Guardian Spice. This show has a lot of that I don't think would have come through from any other studio. One of the things that really attracted me to the position was the opportunity to do traditional hand-drawn 2D animation. Not only do I get to go back to the art form that I truly love, but I also get to create a studio from scratch. High Guardian Spice is about four girls who live in a magical city and are going to... Gender dysphoria is when your biological sex as male or female and your gender identity, your emotional or psychological experience of your self are not in congruence. And it's the distress that's associated with that. I don't care who the fuck you think you be. You call me he if I want to be called a he. You don't call me a she no matter what you want. You're not being polite to the pronoun. Because disrespect. It, okay, forget about the disrespect. Facts don't care about your feelings. Feminist propaganda is coming for us. Yeah, save us. Fuck you. It's a very modern reflection of the world. Our characters are really diverse. Our cast is really diverse. And that's one of the things that excited me the most about it. You're a basic bitch. It's blah blah propaganda, something something SJW, whatever the fuck. Did I date a married man? Yeah. Did he die of colon cancer? Yeah. Cheating on your significant other is taboo in almost all cultures. I recommend hot, older Jews. Many other life factors can lead to infidelity, from unresolved emotional issues, Baggage from past relationships and excessive alcohol intoxication. Perhaps the phrase once a cheater, always a cheater may have a basis in reality. We are 50% female in all the creative roles, and our writer's room is 100% female. I mean, this is what my whole career has been about, is trying to get those voices in there that are not being heard. I don't think anyone has seen stories quite like the ones that we're going to tell.